The concept was a new kind of balance or symmetry in nature, called supersymmetry, which was first proposed by two Russians, Shelkand and Lichtman, in 1971. At no time in the 10,000 years or so since the last Ice Age has the human race been in a state of constant knowledge and fixed technology. There have been a few setbacks, like the Dark Ages, after the fall of the Roman Empire. But the world's population, which is a measure of our technological ability to preserve life and feed ourselves, has risen steadily, with a few hiccups like the Black Death, human barbarity, like the opening scene of Terminator. Instead, they have every possible history, each with its own probability. Indeed, we now have such heightened expectations that some people feel cheated by politicians and scientists because we have not already achieved the utopian visions of the future. This is the other great scientific revolution of the first half of the 20th century. I am not advocating human genetic engineering as a good thing. I am just saying that it is likely to happen in the next millennium, whether we want it or not. What are the prospects that we will discover this complete theory in the next millennium? I hope that the U.S. and other governments will do better in the next millennium. Mr. President, First Lady, this is my view of science in the next millennium.